Your voice, your vote. A battle between the governor and the former president for the soul of the Republican Party. Political reporter Mark Phillips shows us the Ducey endorsement of a Secretary of State candidate is another sign Arizona is ground zero for Republican races. When you're polling at 5%, with less than two weeks to go before the primary, any endorsement is welcome especially if it comes from the governor. Well, I was delighted to get that, that endorsement. The big leader in the Republican Party primary for Secretary of State is undecided. Just days before ballots were mailed out, an OH predictive poll said 72% of the voters had no idea who they'd vote for in the race. Republican political consultant Stan Barnes. I don't call it a proxy war. I call it a proxy competition that Doug Ducey is not down with the Trump version of Republican politics. As governor of Arizona and as chair of the Republican Governors Association, Doug Ducey has not been bashful about taking on Trump endorsed candidates. With a great governor from Arizona, Doug Ducey. In May, Ducey campaigned in Georgia for Governor Brian Kemp, who won easily against Trump endorsed candidate David Perdue. Ducey also had a hand in defeating Trump endorsed candidates in Nebraska and Idaho. He's letting his policies and his administration and his record stand on its own, which clearly, you know, um, clarifies Trump's animosity towards him as a personal vendetta. Biased and political consultant Chuck Coughlin thinks Trump's dominance over the party is not a sure thing. When he comes to Arizona for a rally on Saturday, Republicans far beyond Prescott Valley will be watching and listening. There is a perception that Trump has a fairly significant headlock on the Republican primary voter. And is that true? In a recent high ground poll, Governor Ducey had a 60 percent approval rating among voters. And that's good enough for Bo Lane. I believe that uh, having his endorsement is, uh, uh, is to, greatly to my benefit. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.